welcome to today's video where we're looking at how to add bypass filters to an audio track in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first off you need to import your audio or video or whatever media you're going to use into your bin here and you need to drag this across into your timeline. So you see here I've got this in the timeline already so you need to go to effects at the top which I'm already on and you need to go across here to where the effects box is. Maybe this is somewhere else in your uh, um, your work area, but over here it's on my right hand side. So you need to go to audio effects. And you need to go to reverb, where this is at reverb tools. If you want to use those, or you can use your delays and echoes. So you've got different tools you can use. So it filters an EQ. You got the high bypass and low pass. So we're gonna uh, try the high one. This is make it sound like a um you're recording a radio um like from a radio device or something like that um where you like recording from the speakers. So let's have a listen to it and see what it actually sounds like. So we take that back and we undo that and we'll have a listen to the track what it sounded like before that. So that's a good tool if you want to use that for like um like say a radio broadcast where you're like listen to a radio broadcast uh, from across the room or something in video production and let's try the low bypass and again we take that back <laughs> Of course you could use that for like slowing down the scene or the audio like you would do in the techno scene in the Terminator. Obviously there's other tools you could use. And we can change the hertz frequency. So there we go and lower down. It sounds like it's underwater now. So that's a pretty good tool to use on productions of sh plays and films and whatever productions you want to use where you can distort the sound easily and cheaply if, if you have the program. And if you enjoyed that video, check back soon for more tutorials.